Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Trisha and I go by Glam by T, as you can see. Um, this is my first YouTube video, so I'm really excited. Uh, this is the look that I actually created today. It's kind of like a purple, uh, sultry type look. I really love the different colors that I used with this um, look. And then I also did a pretty purple lip, one of my favorite lipsticks. I'm going to be here to show you different uh, tips and tricks on how I do my makeup. Um, if you like them, please take away some of the things that I'm going to be teaching you. I'll be doing brow tutorials and eyelash tutorials and all kind of good stuff. So I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I finally got all of my equipment <laughs> in so I'm able to um, record some videos now. But if you really like this look, like the video, uh, subscribe and share. Let everybody know about Glam by Team. So let's get started. So we're going to start off by priming the lid. I just finished my eyebrows, so I'm going to be using uh, the MAC Studio Finish in W25. Um, and we're going to put some tape here so we can get a nice sharp crease. We're going to go in with this Dusty Rose and just uh, wipe that all over the lid. Um, I am going to be using the Anastasia Artiste Palette. Uh, we're going to go in with this Punch Fuchsia and just go ahead and windshield wiper motion that all along the crease uh, so that we can get a nice pretty color there. Um, I am using the MAC uh, 224 brush to do that. Then we're going to go in with this color called Aberdeen. We're going to put that in the outer V uh, with the pencil brush and I want to say that I'm using a Sigma pencil brush but I'll put that in the details below. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and take this MAC 221 brush and what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and blend that out all throughout that crease so we can get a nice smooth blend. Then I'm going to take this uh, product Urban Decay Sin and we're going to go ahead and pat that all over the lid. Uh, this will create a nice shimmer especially for your shimmer eyeshadows. Um, it really makes them pop. We're going to blend that Sin out um, throughout the crease as well. Then we're going to go in with the Sephora palette and we're going to take this pink pretty shimmer color and we're going to pat that all over the lid with my Sigma flat brush. Uh, it's a shader brush. And we're just going to go ahead and just pat that all over the lid. Um, this is a really pretty pink color to go with the look that I'm achieving today. Um, I did notice that this color came out kind of on the white side. So what I did was go ahead and add this purple plum color on top of that. That way it created more of a purplish plum look versus the whiter look. So I went ahead and mixed the two shimmer eyeshadows to create the look that I wanted to. Then we're going to go back in with our 221 brush and we are going to go ahead and blend all of those colors out. I wanted to bring back some of the depth of that Aubergine color. So I went ahead and applied that again as well. And as you can see, I'm just buffing everything out to make sure everything's blended. Then we're going to take this buttery color from the Artiste palette as well and we're just going to go ahead and wipe that all through the brow bone. After removing the tape we should have a nice sharp look and next we're going to go ahead and apply our liner. So I am using this liner from IT Cosmetics. Um, it is a gel liner called Rich Plum. As you can see as I'm putting on the product it really goes on super creamy which really makes it easy for application. I love the way this product is applying onto the lid. Um, and I'm also using a angle brush and the angle brush is from Sigma as well. I will list all the brushes that I have used in this tutorial in the details below. So after we do our wing liner, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean it up a little bit I did see a couple of ridges so I'm just going to take this flat definer brush and I put a little bit of concealer on there from when I did my brows and just go ahead and shape that up as you can see. Next we're going to apply some falsies. These are from Luxie Lash and the name of these are Easy Does It. Make sure that you put your mascara on. I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex and I pretty much applied my lashes offline. I'll do another tutorial one day on how to apply lashes, uh, but I just did this really quick online. As you can see, I'm using tweezers just to uh, squeeze my natural lashes in with the falsies. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and take a black 
gel liner pencil. This is from It Cosmetics as well. And we're going to go ahead and put that um, in the water line, in the upper water line. After I put my falsies on, I like to go back over it with the gel liner, just so you don't see the band from the falsies. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use this beautiful foiled eyeshadow called Shimmer Shimmer, and that is from Makeup Geek Cosmetics. And we're going to go ahead and apply that on the inner corner of the eye. Looks like I uh, pretty much have the look done. Just want to make sure everything is all shaped up. So I just check everything with my brows, my lashes, and my wing liner. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a thumbs up. Okay guys, so since this video really just focused on the eyeshadow, I really just did a quick uh, foundation routine. Um, I'm going to have another video on how I do my foundation, but this is just something that's going to be really quick, so I'm going to be speeding it up a lot. Um, as you can see, I just basically just moisturized my face. Here I am correcting uh, some dark circles and have some dark spots there, so I'm correcting that as well. Um, I like to do little dances when I'm getting ready. So as <laughs> you can see, I'm a little bit on the silly side. But um, I am going to be using a beauty blender to blend out my foundation. I'm using NARS. Uh, this is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And we're just going to be applying that all over the face and buffing that out with my beauty blender. Looks great. So we're going to take this concealer from MAC. And this is the Pro Long Wear Concealer. And I do it a couple shades lighter so that I can create a nice highlight. And I'm going to be using a concealer brush to apply that product. And I'll also be using a beauty blender as well to blend this product out. Apply that concealer on the forehead, down the nose, the cupid's bow, and the chin. And buffing that out as well. Then I'm going to go ahead and contour with this uh, Amazon Clay Full Coverage Foundation in the color Rich Honey. We're just going to apply that in the hollows of my cheekbones. I'm also going to be putting that... Um, through the perimeter of the top of my head and on the sides as well. So I will have this full routine on another video. We are going to go ahead and buff that out with a MAC brush and I'll list the name of that brush in the details below as well. After I buff that out with that brush, I take my beauty blender and I really make sure that everything is blended. So that's what the beauty blender is doing right now. Next, we're going to go ahead and set the concealer that I applied earlier with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And we're going to pack that on pretty heavy because I am going to be baking in this. And I'll explain details later in the next video. Then I'm also going to set the foundation that I use to contour my face. And I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. Anytime you use a liquid, you want to set it with powder to make sure that everything is set properly. When we're done with that, we're just going to go ahead and bake for a little while. <laughs> Those faces though. Alright guys, so next we're going to just go ahead and brush off all of that powder that we used just to make sure that uh, we don't have powder sitting on our face when we walk out the door. We definitely don't want that. After this, I'm going to refresh my skin with MAC Fix Plus. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> yeah, that was a little bit dramatic. So just fan myself off there. And then I'm going to add some mineralized skin finish. And then we're going to go ahead and apply our blush. I'm using this MAC uh, blush palette. And I'm going to use those two colors. I don't know the name of them. I'm so sorry. But I will list the names of them in the, in the details below. Then let's... Yes, that highlight, honey. That highlight is gorgeous. Here I'm using the Becca... Um, highlight in rose gold. And I just apply that to the top of my cheekbones and my nose uh, above my brow bone. And next we're going to go ahead and finish off the eyes. I do this last because, I don't know, it's just a routine of mine. You could do it either way, but I like to do this at the very end. And I'm just basically using that IT Cosmetics black gel liner and I'm applying that to the waterline. Um, I am going to be smudging that out so it doesn't have to be perfect and I'll be using a smudge brush from uh, I think it is Sigma so I think this is another Sigma brush or it may even be a Morphe brush but I'm going to get that color and that uh, punch fuchsia and we're going to go ahead and apply that first and we're going to kind of smudge that a little bit below the waterline then I'm going to take that Abergeen color again and we are going to smudge that as well right on top of that we're going to do that to both sides then i'm going to take this foiled eyeshadow from makeup geek cosmetics called caitlin rose and we're going to go ahead and smudge that in the bottom inner corner of the eye then i'm going to go back in with shimmer shimmer and apply that and then some mascara to the bottom lashes Looks like the eyes are fully complete. Then I'm going to go in with my favorite. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. They are just the bomb. And this is in the color Melted Metallic Jelly. Oh my gosh. They just go on so smooth. Feels like butter on your lips. I mean, I just absolutely am obsessed with the Too Faced Melted Lip Lipsticks. They're actually called liquefied metallic lipsticks so love that i'm gonna go in and put that highlight above my cupid's bow and here's the final look so i really had fun guys i hope you like the look and i hope you stay tuned to more of my videos bye guys